Well, moving on, I would like to show you a bunch of HDMI switches that I looked at recently, but that didn't sound as exciting as the Atom PC. Or it's not a PC, per se. An Atom motherboard system. I, and a PC. Atom. Yeah. What is Atom? Atom is Intel's newest processor. It's a very low-power x86 processor. Um, not a lot of performance, but certainly more performance at 4 watts than you get for anything else in that category. Uh, very nice. Again, again Runs Windows, runs Linux, all the good stuff you'd expect uh, Intel x86 processor to run. Uh, this motherboard, by the way, uh, the Atom motherboard, is an Intel D945 GCLF motherboard. You see the, that fan there? I do. That's not the processor fan. It's not. That's the Northbridge fan. This is a processor cooler. Remember, it's only 4 watts max. Let me see that. So it only has... Flip that over. Yep. So you're saying... So we can do this just so... That is the CPU, and it's just a passive cooler. That's cooler right. That's right on there. And then the actually the Northbridge chip is the right. one that actually receives active cooling. Is it is it that right there? Passive cooler on the CPU. Get that right. sideways. Active cooler on the Northbridge chip. I take it the Northbridge chip is running a lot hotter than. That's right because it's doing the integrated graphics too, right? So, Very cool. Yeah. A tiny well, motherboard. Right. It's a mini ITX motherboard, a, a format pioneered by Via, ironically enough. But the interesting thing also about this is that this board actually is probably not the best platform for Atom. I mean, I, w I would have liked to have seen Intel use a later chipset that has, you know, where the integrated graphics are better and all that stuff. But, you know, it gets the job done. I built a little PC around this guy, by the way. This is it here. This is the whole thing. The uh, whole thing cost about $400, with half the cost being the, the hard drive, actually. I put a 320 gigabyte Western Digital laptop drive that was like $180. So... You know, you can figure out the rest of it. You got, you got your uh, uh, slim profile uh, optical drive. Like a notebook drive, size drive? Notebook, notebook type drive. Style drive? And, you know, you got a gig, gig of RAM. Awesome. And uh, that's about it. What are the ideal applications for something like that? Uh, you know, net top PCs where you're just doing web browsing. You know, okay. maybe a, a internet cafe where some of the machines might be for gaming, but other, other machines might be just for web browsing and email. Maybe an audio server, something yeah, like it could, that. Yeah, it could and certainly be a good audio server. I wouldn't play video. It does DVDs okay, but nothing bigger than DVDs. Understood, yeah. yeah. Anything like that? Terrific. Uh, oh, and the other thing about this is when it's sitting at idle, it's 30 watts or less. And when it's full, when it's full board doing everything it can do, it's 45 watts. That's awesome. Yeah. That's, that's really low power. Right. That's very good. So I take it then it's all, it, arguably, it's, it should be pretty quiet as well. Right? Well, it's not as quiet as it could be because, because Intel used an older chipset, which is, uh, runs hot. This fan is noisier than I'd like it. The case itself is a little fan. Mm -hmm. On it as well. If you look at this, this little fan there. That's kind of noisy, but it's not terribly noisy. I mean, it's just nice. Whole package. Uh, you were saying this kit is four hundred bucks and case, includes no, no. The, the motherboard. I, 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 uh, all the, the case components are purchased bucks? separately. No, the okay. case is about one hundred and twenty dollars, including the power supply. Oh, okay. This motherboard is sixty six dollars. That comes just like it is with the with CPU the already already on it. Yep. Awesome. Yep. Is it is it using mobile style technology or is it is it uh, really just a brand itself, new platform? The chipset oh, itself is sort of Intel's older mobile chipset, but the the this the CPU itself is really designed for those little mobile ha internet devices, the little handheld devices. That's really what Intel designed it for. But they put on this guy. It'll be in those ultra compact laptops. Like it's already in the MSI Wind laptop, for example. Very cool. I have to say it. You know, if you're looking for a small PC, maybe a do-it-yourself project. I'm Right. That looks really good. Is there information about that on the Extreme Tech website yep, as well? Yeah, just wrote it up this week, so nice. check it out. Excellent.